Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. So I am starting this vlog a little late. It's 7 p.m. Tuesday night. I'm about to cook dinner. If y'all don't already know, I don't like to cook. It's not my preference of a thing to do. I like to eat, but I don't like to cook. But I want to grow in that. Like I kind of do want to enjoy cooking, but then I kind of don't. But I know that I need to like be able to do a little something. So tonight, usually in the past, Tuesday nights are supposed to be my night to cook dinner for the family. And I've been slacking real bad on that. Like real bad i don't remember the last time i cooked for the family to be honest so i am about to cook i'm keeping it real simple i'm doing a trader joe's meal orange chicken and the fried rice and we're gonna call it a night really want to get back in the flow so we are we're doing it we are doing it two nights so let's go cook Okay, try. I don't know what that is. No, mm -mm. I'm sorry. Kai liked my dinner. He said it was an eight out of ten, and we making Kool Aid. Do not put that spoon back in the Kool Aid. We just talked about that the other day. People who drink no, who drink the Kool Aid, taste it and put the spoon back in. Do not you dare. Kai, you just ruined the the spoon, man. Mama, that's how mama, mama washes it off. She okay. lets me taste test it. Wash it off? Mm -hmm. Sure. You don't need to be looking at spoon like that. You know, maybe it's just the combination between cherry and lemonade. Like, don't bust. For real. Yes, it do, y'all. That's the one I had. That's the one I had. Yes, it is. Hmm. You just made it watery. But the food was ahead. Yeah, this is good. You're crazy. You made it. How'd you do it? Two, one pack of cherry, one pack of lemonade, mm -hmm. three scoops of sugar, mm -hmm. a little more than three. And it's not good? <laughs> no. How you gonna smell for your day tomorrow? Let me see. <laughs> Let me see a regular. Look at my lazy eye. Look, I got a lazy eye. No, you don't. Yes, I do. <laughs> Why? Okay, question of the day. Why are all the teams in the same state called the same thing? Like why? Why, why is it? Why, no, why is it? The, why is the 76ers not the Eagles as well? Because Cause they're two different things, Davis. But it's a sport. They're, they're all they're they, re, they're representing the same state. So so just because it should be I feel so bad. <laughs> we were loud. Yes, she no, can. No, you can hear everything in this house. My god, Bob is upstairs doing Bible study. We were just super loud. I actually don't. <clears throat> you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. One marshmallow. Check it out. Two, two marshmallows. Two marshmallows. Check it out. Check it out. Two, two. Three marshmallows. Three marshmallows. Three marshmallows. Check it out. 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 Do my shawl, do my shawl, do my shawl. Oh, TikTok game that guy just showed me, and it's actually really hard. Good morning. It is Wednesday, every Wednesday. I have a 6 a.m. prayer call. Um, I'm really tired this morning, so I'm thankful that I'm not running the prayer call this morning. I usually run it, but on the, what is it, the third Wednesday of the month, um another one of our members does the prayer call and it just gives me a little you know break but i still join the prayer call obviously so um i'm thankful that it's third wednesday because i'm really tired so i have a few minutes until it starts so i'm just going to spend a few minutes in worship over here getting caught up in prayer it's time to start the prayer call lord jesus thank you father Oh, that's bright. Oh, my goodness, my camera. Let me just tell y'all real quick how ain't nobody mad but the devil that I picked up my camera again, okay? Because when I start picking up my camera, it's 
screws want to start coming out and now the piece I can barely lift it up like I literally have to hold it together right now so I'm about to go to Best Buy prayerfully it's a quick fix and they don't have to keep my camera long and all that because I don't have time hopefully I'll see y'all later today if they don't have to take my camera so yeah so y'all I left Best Buy basically it was a little bit of a pointless trip because they don't fix cameras like if you have insurance through them or something then they'll take the camera and they like send it away but they don't fix cameras so that was a little bit of a waste but i was able to take a look at some of the other cameras because i kind of just feel like this calls for an upgrade like if this keeps happening maybe i need a new camera you know what i mean i think i got this camera when why is there so much traffic? I got this camera when I graduated college, which has been a little minute. Oh wait, exit, okay, give me a shortcut. I had it for a while, like there's been two new versions, so I'm considering upgrading my camera. I took a look at some of the vlog cameras today and I'm pretty fascinated. I'm not gonna say I'm a tech girl, but I'm kind of like a little bit of a tech girl. Like I love new gadgets and all types of stuff like that. Like I love having the newest of a thing. Like I want the new iPhone, I'm gonna be upgrading soon. I want a new laptop, like that's just, I like having the new stuff, you know what I mean? As of right now, my camera is really handicapped. I need to like try to tape it. Or I was trying to find the like the little screws on Amazon, but I can't tell if they're the right screws and I don't want to um I don't want to order the wrong thing. Okay. I I need to focus on the road. So I'll be back later. Hey y'all, welcome to another day. I don't think I properly closed my day out yesterday. I can't remember. Already, it's already like 3 30. I can't even believe that. Like today has been going so fast. I have not ate yet, so I'm on my way to get something to eat. I'm craving a burger, so I'm going to Five Guys. Every month around the time where my cycle comes, I crave a burger and chocolate. Like those are my two top two cravings. But I've basically just been working this morning. I had to send out some emails from my church. I also was working very hard on putting details together for our annual fast in the society. I was like struggling a little bit with putting it together but everything worked out all the details are together and that fast is starting in like two weeks so when I have the like official sign up link I will share it with you guys oh okay really big something exciting my new proof copy of the book comes in today so I know in my last vlog I couldn't show you guys the book but you guys seen like my reaction of the book and how there was still changes that needed to be made so I have high expectations of y'all these people that be In having mile, turn left y'all these people that be having these cemetery halloween uh decorations in their yards like no absolutely not i just passed one it was like y'all really doing a lot but anyway i have really high expectations for the book I'm hoping that they did the font correctly and just everything that I fixed, I'm hoping that it's fixed, it is right. I need it to be right because I'm ready to put the book out and put it on pre-order, you know, do the whole packing up people's orders thing. I really enjoyed like sending orders out when I dropped my last book or anytime I've like put a product, a physical product out, I really enjoyed the like, Printing out the orders, packing it in the bag, and taking it to the post office. Like, that is something that I really enjoy doing. I think it's kind of fun. We'll see. You guys will see my reaction when it comes. So, we will see if all is well. Alright, y'all. The book is here. I'm nervous. So this feels like me. I don't know why the color is not. But I actually like the color. Here, color. Excited. You guys see the difference? Okay, so look at the inside of the book. This is just so much more me design wise. Like it's modern, but it's still clean. Oh, so the color 
it was supposed to be like more cream i don't know what color this is but i actually like it the title of the book to be mo moved over just a smidge like i need it moved over a smidge but in this my name looks centered i feel like this could be moved over a little bit this is so 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 much better i'm so excited okay kira's about to die so I'm gonna go and just read over the devotional and I'll be back. I have ice cream. This is nothing but my cycle. Ice cream, I don't even wanna show y'all what else I got, okay? But I wanted, I needed chocolate, so I got ice cream. I also got something that y'all are sitting on right now, which is a cherry Coke. I don't even drink soda, but around the time of my cycle, Mm, mm, mm. I needed this in order for me to finish my book edits. All right, you guys, we are about to wrap this week's vlog. Y'all, please be patient with me because one, a whole clip from this vlog I accidentally deleted, so it's not in this vlog. Two, I feel like it's taking me some time to get back in the swing of vlogging. And so I just ask that you bear with me for these next few weeks as I am getting into my swing, as I'm learning how I want to show up on my digital online space. Overall, this weekend, I'm trying to think, Friday night, I really didn't do too much. I was in my feels a little bit. Remember when I told y'all I have my moments? I think I said this in my last vlog, where like, I have my moments where I crave companionship, but I usually like, they usually leave pretty quickly i think i find that like on the weekends they hit me a little more you know what i'm saying because i literally like i haven't been doing anything y'all i've been in the house okay friday nights have been in the house like having time with myself and i enjoy that like i said i really really enjoy that lately i just been soaking in those moments like paying attention to the peace that i feel how my body feels how at ease my mind is like i don't have nobody sun stressing me out like i really really value that but like i said at the same time you know if i want to be taken on a date <laughs> but it's just not that season for me you know what i mean so like i said i do take myself out a lot but i don't really take myself out at night like i don't really go out to eat by myself at night it's just i also think i'm really overdue for a night with like my girls i don't know i think i think what i'm feeling is i want to get cute and i want to go out i want to get cute and i want to go out to dinner and then i want to come home maybe that's what i'm feeling and i just maybe i just need my girlfriends i don't know but anyway that was friday night so i was in my feels just a little bit saturday um my friends went to the pumpkin patch i did not go with them because it was like 30 minutes away and nobody had room in their car and i wasn't about to drive 30 minutes by myself for a pumpkin patch so i so i decided not to go and i stayed home and i actually did this okay i'm gonna tell y'all about it and if y'all want more maybe i'll make it into a tiktok i don't know so i stayed home honestly I don't remember oh I was working on my book because y'all know that's like top priority for me right now so I really was actually happy that I didn't go to pumpkin patch too because I needed to finish up the book I ordered one more test copy you guys so that should be here on Tuesday and that should be my last test copy before we can take the pictures and drop the book so anyway I got that done on Saturday I did that that was top priority for me and then I did this exercise I was on TikTok and I came across this video of this girl basically she does okay how can I explain it basically her and her friends they create seasons of their life as as if it's like a tv show but they'll create the season and you're obviously the main character in your season and you are basically writing out your like vision for this season of the show like what is the plot for this season of the show so so you're writing down like what you look like, how you're wearing your hair in this season, but how are you dressing, what type of jewelry are you wearing, what your habits are, are you going to the gym, your mindset, how you talk to yourself, you're writing down like what is your dating life like, I mean basically all areas of your life. Basically you're the character in this TV show and a new season is premiering and so I thought it was really cool and I've been talking about how like 
I just feel like there is another level of myself that I need to tap into. And it's hard to explain it, but there is kind of like another level of intentionality that I wanna give myself. And I feel like that level of it being intentional with myself and the things that I wanna do is going to create this woman that I see, I kept putting down that I wanted to just write the vision, write the vision, write the vision. And so I started it a little bit, but once I seen that video, it reminded me to do that again. So I wrote down mine and mine is, I'm entering season three of my show. I just feel like it's not season one, it's not season two, we're going into season three. And so I literally have four pages of notes. Let me actually go get my notebook so I can tell you guys just a little bit of it. So, okay, so mine starts off, welcome to season three, and you write it as if like you're telling yourself this. You have officially entered season three and the woman you've been feeling and thinking about has emerged. This is your era. And so I wrote down what my mornings look like in season three of my life and I attached, and I attached a scripture to it. Now, the video of the girl I seen on TikTok and hers wasn't given like saved girl. It didn't really say what their religious beliefs were, but it wasn't given like saved girl version. And so I did saved girl version. Cause you know, it's not giving manifestation. It's giving right the vision, make it plain. It's giving faith without works is dead. It's giving speak those things that are not as if they are very much so scripture attached. So the way I did mine, I wrote down what my mornings look like in season three. So mine starts off, you have become the woman who wakes up at 5.30 a.m. You have your morning skincare and worship. You head to the gym, pick your nephew up from school, come home, freshen up. And it goes into all this stuff of how I want my mornings to look in season three. And then I have a scripture attached to it. And then I have what work looks like for me in season three. And I talk about my new book that just dropped. These are things that are literally happening and going on in your life. So the purpose of this isn't to like just make some fantasy thing up. It's like no, like literally write out this new season that you want to enter and what is happening in this season. So you actually have to do these things. Mine talks about work in season three, like I said, and I talk about my books. So I say your new book just drops, the photos came out amazing, the video content is top tier, your community is buying multiple copies of your book, the orders are endless, and I talk about more about the impact of the book and I add a scripture. I feel like I'm talking fast. Um, and then I do, I did what my content looks like in season three of my life and I added a scripture. I did what my appearance is like in season three of my life. I put, girl, you are in your weave era. The side part is giving. You feel elevated, sophisticated, sexy, and new. I, I talk about how I want to wear my nails, jewelry, my style, all that. I have cooking in season three. Y'all know I don't really like to cook. So this is something I actually have to implement. I wrote down my singleness in season three and what that looks like and I attached a scripture. I wrote down what my finances look like in season three and attached a scripture. And then on this page, I just wrote down like who are my inspo people. And then I wrote down what my themes are for season three of my show. So what are your major themes? If you have people who I would say people who you more so know personally, but it also can be people on social media if you feel like you really can vouch for them. Um, like who are your inspo people for this person that you are becoming in your show, in your season. So yeah, I hope that makes sense. It's not supposed to give like delusional. It's supposed to give you're literally just thinking about this new version of yourself, but you're putting it kind of in like a TV show form and writing what this new season of the show looks like. So again, all this, this four pages of stuff, this is stuff that I'm literally about to implement. I'm waking up at 5.30 in the morning tomorrow, okay? Like, I am starting my season. Like I said, I've been wanting to do this and write this stuff down. I actually, like I said, I started it on another page and I called it uh, vision casting. So funny, I have it right here that I wrote a few weeks ago. I vision casting and so yeah, I like this idea better because it makes it a little more like fun. You know? So yeah, I'm really excited for season three of my show and I can't wait to see how season three plays out. She did say in the video like you kind of get to decide when the season is over and it's time to start a new season. So I'm excited to walk into season three and see how long season three lasts. But yeah, I hope that makes sense to you guys. I'm about to wrap the vlog here. I hope you guys have an amazing week and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.